welcome back to my channel. I have just finished re-watching Parks and Recreation because it's a very, very good show and I love it. And if you haven't already seen it, then I highly recommend it. But there's something from a minimalist perspective that I would like to briefly discuss because isn't it fun? to analyze the fun out of things. So there are two characters in the show who, I think it's annually, they go shopping together and it's called Treat Yourself Day and essentially the rule is anything that you want, you buy yourself. And then they say, treat yourself as a kind of justification for why they are buying it. And they're generally very frivolous purchases. It's not, you know, they're not going out buying, I don't know, notebooks and pens, it's like, fancy sunglasses and handbags and designer pocket squares and that kind of thing. So one of the ways that I would justify making purchases that I didn't really need was claiming in some way that I deserved it, so that I deserved the item. So, you know, I would be in a shop holding an item and I would just be filing through every single good thing that I'd ever done in my life ever to come up with some sort of reason as to why I deserved to own it. And ultimately, even if I couldn't come up with anything good enough, I would just be like, Carmen, you're a good person, you deserve to get the thing, and then I would just get the thing. So it might feel in the moment like you are gaining something. So you go from not having a thing to having a thing, and it feels like you have you have gained in some way. But like with all transactions, you are you are ultimately depriving yourself of something, especially if you don't have the disposable income to, to make the purchase guilt-free. In that instance, although it doesn't feel like it, you are depriving yourself of the money that you used to buy the thing, you are depriving yourself of increased financial independence. You are depriving yourself of the opportunity to spend that money on something more more meaningful or more important. You're depriving yourself of the freedom that comes with having more money or less debt. And you're also depriving yourself of knowing that you are strong enough to withstand marketing tactics. When I was going through my like mental transition, my mental minimalist transition, I remember one of my favorite feelings was going into a shop, picking up loads of stuff, like I would just have like arms full of clothes and dresses and all this type of thing, and then putting them down, like like getting to that point where I would think to myself, Carmen, you don't need any of this stuff, remember what's important, remember what, what's important to you, and then I would put them all back, and then I would leave. And I'd feel so strong and like powerful because I'd been so susceptible to marketing my whole life, and then I reached that point where I put everything back and I was like, no, I know what's important, I know who I am, and I am strong, and I don't need this stuff. And that was a great feeling. And in addition to all of that, it's also the time that you spent earning the money to pay for that object. That's something else that is part of this transaction. So sometimes a useful tool could be thinking about what your hourly wage is, and then thinking about exactly how much time, how much of your life you will have had to exchange for the thing that you want to buy. While remembering that time is a finite resource, time is something that we cannot get back. It's once it's gone, it's gone. Because you deserve good things and you should treat yourself, but you should, you should try and treat yourself to a life with less stress and fewer financial worries and increase self-esteem because of how you, know, how you can withstand marketing and the knowledge that you are fine without possessions, that you are fine without surrounding yourself with objects. Like, these are really important things, but it's, it's so much easier to assign value to physical, tangible objects. But it's so much more valuable to be able to, to put that importance on yourself, ultimately, the things that you truly want, the things that you truly need, and also more abstract ideas like, like freedom or like space or your future or the, your potential. And I should just say as well that I'm not saying that all purchases are bad, I'm talking about frivolous purchases, so things that you don't really need and maybe you do not have the disposable income for. Remember that it is the absence of an object or a thing that should inform the purchase of it, not the knowledge that it exists. So that's all I wanted to say anyway, but Parks and Rec is a really really good show and I don't mean to criticize the characters, but I do. I do like, I do, well, I just like to analyze, you must know that about me, about me now. So I hope you enjoyed that video, it was quite short and sweet, but I hope there was something of value for you in there, and I will see you in my next video. I hope you're all doing well. I'll see you later, goodbye. Branded, your position, heart foul, social condition not bad, but I have it any other way. Day and night, it's not the same as being wrong, right? There is truly grace, but sometimes I am the sandy.